Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Today is the 13th of July, and today we celebrate the Archangel Gabriel. Yes, that's it, Gabriel. And his troparian, Gabriel, commander of the heavenly hosts, we who are unworthy beseech you by your prayers encompass us beneath the wings of your immaterial glory and faithfully preserve us who fall down and cry to you. Deliver us from all harm, for you are the commander of the powers on high. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you know, uh, we first meet uh, Gabriel, the archangel, in the book of Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Okay. So, let me see here. Let's say good morning to uh, Robin. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. And it's already getting warm. Oh, yes, it is. My <laughs> it's Alexa, gonna be a steam bath. Yeah, my Alexa app says it's gonna be up uh, 87 today, she says, so we'll, that's hot for us. And we get a lot of humidity, thunderstorms coming in, so, oh, we pray it's not too much. That is, it is, as you said, what it is. You just move on. So, And you know, uh, Barb Anderson is starting her immunotherapy today for her cancer. And Lord, we uh -huh. pray for Barbara. We pray, dear Lord, that all goes well with that. We pray that you heal our sister, Lord, of that cancer through this immunotherapy. We pray for that. Amen. Well, let me see here. I just like to go through see if we have anybody new and we haven't seen in a long time perhaps let's see go here uh, nope just the same crew that's good that's wonderful and uh, you noted earlier that uh, we're out of the usual books and into something new Hebrews and St. Luke so mm -hmm. uh, let's We've see what Let's see what St. Paul has to say to us in the book of Hebrews. We've got Hebrews 2, verses 2 through 10, and Luke chapter 10, 16 through 21. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For if the word spoken through angels proved steadfast, every transgression and disobedience received a just reward. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed to us by those who heard him, God also bearing witness with both signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own will. For he has not put the world to come, of which we speak in subjection to angels, but one testified in a certain place, saying, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you take care of him? You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, and set him over the works of your hands. You have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting for him for whom all things and by whom all are things, in bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. And we have Luke <coughs> verses 16 through 21. He who hears you hears me, he who rejects you, rejects me. 
and he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by shall any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent and revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in your sight. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Now let's say hello to everybody. All our little friends out there. And there's Lena May. Good morning. And it's hot in Pennsylvania already. Lena May says it's 86 degrees where she is right oh. now. Ooh. Yeah. Gonna be hot. Wilson Salvieo, good morning to you out there in British Columbia, Vancouver. Barb Anderson, of course, she's starting her immunotherapy today. And Lord, we pray for good result. We let that immunotherapy work the way it's intended, Lord. We pray for our sister, Barbara. And let me see, Katerina Tsalas, good morning to you. Pray for me. Yes, we're praying for you, Katerina, and your whole family. And let me see, Karen Kalinovich, good morning, Steve, and sweet prayer family. Ruthie Johnson, good morning. And uh, there's Lena May. Whew, another hot day. It's already 86 degrees in the cottage already. I'm oh. truly blessed, though, because it is peaceful and beautiful the way God intended. Amen. There's Stravula out there in Melbourne, Melbourne, uh, Australia. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Stravula. And Nellie Cart Valley, good morning. Good morning, my little sister down there in New York City. There's Debbie Owen over there in uh, uh, Lyons, New York. And let me see, over here we have Joyce Marie. Of course, she's here to remind us and, and pray that uh, she asks that the Lord create in her a clean heart. And Lord, we pray that He renews a right spirit within us. And there's Violetta. Good morning, Steve and everyone. Good morning, Violetta. Juliette Sabunya up there in Boston. Good morning to you. Amber Tremaine, Snohomish, Washington, with two cups of coffee. That's our cue. Oh, do you have your T-shirt? That's right. It's on. I left it on the chair. Go get it. Go get it. No, I I, I left it on this chair, but I forgot. Oh. Can oh. I, I don't. Oh, Can you all it? Do I, I have it properly. Yes, you do. All I need is coffee okay. and Jesus. Amen. A friend gave it to me that had no idea what I was doing in the morning and what and what we do in the morning. Mm-hmm. And let me see here. Earl and Vicky, there they are down there in Nashville. Good morning to you both. Patrick Barnes, I lost my link to the Facebook stream. Can somebody post it? And we posted it up there for him. And, of course, Patrick is our newest catechumen here. Good to have you with us. And he's down in Pinellas Park, Florida. I think that's Pinellas Park. And uh, Lisa Itzel from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Arthur Bethea uh, from uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Good morning to all and have a blessed day. Amen. And let's go back over here for just a second. And, and uh, Ruthie says, love your shirt, Robin. Love your shirt. <laughs> and Karen says, Karen Karlinovich, please pray for Jonna, Anthony, and Francis for peace and resolve. Thank you so much. Well, Lord, we, we do pray for Jonna, Anthony, and Francis, that little family. Bring peace back to that family and strength. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. All righty. There's Bernie Grant. Good morning. And Amber Tremaine says, love that shirt, Robin. Love it. Love it. 
Oh, Alioni just showed up. Good morning, Steve, Robin, Amber, and everyone. That Christ is in our midst, he is and forever shall be. Thank you to both of you, Robin and Alioni. There we go. Yeah. Quick look over here. Okay, would you lead us in prayer this morning, my dear? Yes, sir. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, and the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, Almighty One, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity. Because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven 
and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, who ever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theodogus, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings and all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. All righty. Let's see here. Oh, Matt Owens has a job interview coming up maybe today. We pray, dear Lord, that all goes well with that interview. Inspire Matt to do a good job. Amen. And let me see here. Boop, boop. Oh, you know, we also pray for Tess Plummer, who's also looking for work, Lord. So we pray for Matt and for Tess Plummer. They, they get back to work soon. We pray for that. Amen. And over here, there's Michael Rager. Good morning, everyone. Woke up late after working a 15-hour shift yesterday. God bless y'all. Got to head to work. Love y'all. Love you, Michael. Rob King, good morning to you. <coughs> Joycey Rager, good morning, everyone. We just got up and having our coffee. God. Having our coffee. Yes, sir. Mm. 
I don't have any creamer in my coffee this morning. No, ran out last night. Well, Joyce, he goes on. Y'all have a blessed day, and hopefully we will be on here for evening prayers this evening. Look forward to seeing you, Joycey. And, uh, oh, Alexander Sabunia, Juliet's husband. Good morning, amen, amen, amen. Good morning, Alexander. There we go. I think we got everybody. And, oh, let me see here. Yeah, I think we got everybody. And Matthew, of course, says, prayer that my interview goes well today. And we pray for that. Lord, amen. Inspire our brother Matthew. Amen. All righty. Well, thank you so much. And uh, let me see. We'll see you tomorrow morning. No. Yes, we good, will It see. is good tomorrow. Yeah, we're Tomorrow's good tomorrow. Tomorrow's definite. Saturday and Sunday are maybe possible. Okay. Because you'll be out of town. So, mm -hmm. but we'll see you tomorrow. That's what's important. Yes. And, oh, right. oh, Father, Father Antipas just showed up. Good morning, Father. Did we sleep in, Father? Did we oversleep? Good morning to you. And he reminds us that Christ is in our midst. Amen. Now, what were you about to say, darling? Two. Two. What are they? that God loves us. He really, really, really does. And we love you. We love each other. We really, really, really do. Amen to that. Amen to that. Well, folks, Robin will be with us tomorrow, and now yep. we're going to pray Bye -bye. for each other. So, friends and Lord, this is when we pray for each other. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, we pray, dear Lord, that you... Uh, Bring healings, health, and your peace to all those we are about to pray for this morning. So, Lord, Amber Tremaine asks us to pray for uh, Rachel, who has fallen asleep. And, uh, Lord, we pray for Rachel, that you have mercy on her soul. We pray for her four children, comforting and soul, each of them. Amen. Catherine Houston. Well, Lord, we pray for Catherine, her sister Patricia. And, Lord, we pray for a friend, Susan, who is being treated for bone cancer. We pray for Kathy that she return to our faith and becomes her best self. We pray for that. And we pray for Mike, Michael McDowell, Lord. We pray for him. Have mercy on him. And let me see. We pray for uh, Catherine's uh, son, Brandon, his, his wife, Nicole, and their little baby daughter, Poppy Rose. We pray for Lexi and William, Lord. William is uh, uh, Catherine's future son-in-law. And we pray for Catherine's... Uh, Cousin John, we pray for a friend Nadine as well. And, uh, oh, yeah, something's out of order here. How did that happen? Oh, well. Well, Lord, um, Catherine also asks to pray for uh, Michelle, Keith, Kevin, and Jan Novak. They each suffer from cancer. And, Lord, Michael Rager asks to pray for Janice Proctor, suffering from lung cancer. We pray for healing for Janice. Lord, we pray for my family. We pray for my granddaughter, Sarah. We pray for my daughter, Maureen, and her family. We pray for Christina, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of my wife, Sharon. And we pray for our friends, Ann Bradner and Jim and Ann Robinson, Anna Gary and Gloria Fisher. Lord, we pray for our little sister down there in uh, Pennsylvania, Lena May. We pray for her health and healing for her, Lord. And, uh, well, Lord, we pray for her husband, we pray for her daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie, and we pray for Charlene. We pray that Charlene remains cancer-free. We pray for Bernie Grand. We pray for him, Lord, for his health and for his mother, her health as well, and healings. Amen. Lord, we pray for Karen Kalanovich. We pray for her health and healing for her. And, Lord, we pray for her children and her grandchildren. Keep them all healthy and strong. And this morning, Lord, we're praying especially for Jana. And uh, Anthony and little baby Francis, we pray for that little family, Lord, for strength and peace. Amen. And we also pray for Karen's uh, grandson, George, for healing. We pray for our other grandson, Gabe, that you keep him safe. He's in the Marines. And uh, Karen also asked to pray for uh, Barbara and Lynette, mother and daughter. And uh, we pray for healing for them, Lord. Amen. 
Well, Lord, we pray for the health of Ked Zerga and Stephanie Acario, and we pray for Catherine Salcedo and her family. We pray for Catherine and Raphael. We pray for uh, Bianca and Rodrigo and little Izio. We, Lord, we pray that uh, you bring peace and strength to that family as well. At St. Michael's Parish, my parish, Lord, we're praying for Ethel Peters, Aziza Baruti, Stella Susuris, Enum George, Barbara Gale, Barbara Esser, George Abraham, Bren May, Rosemary Fafinski, Thomas Abraham, Norma Gentlecore, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Stephen Sharon Toby, Joseph Madiri, Joseph Felix, Steve Fraser, George Morwood, Christy Kay, Russell Scott, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabera. Lord, we're praying for Cooper Wolf and Daniel H. and Don and Annie Handley. We're praying for John Crane, Father Gregory Nominko, Curia Jocelyn, Curia Jane Solberg. And we're praying for Dory Harris, Lord, and Kelly and Shannon Levy and Jason Post and Michael Abraham. We pray for Robert D'Arsenio, Steve Rumian, Andrea and Dean Fragnito, Daniel, Father Daniel Anne, Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey, uh, Father David Scott, Jorge Luqua, Sister Tatiana, and Lord, ah, uh, we're also praying, Lord, for uh, Serena Butterfield and her unborn child. They're due in December. Oh, Lord, we pray for them. And, Lord, we pray for our sister, Rennie Abraham and Ruth Leo, for healing for them and good health. And we pray for George Michaels and John Nicholson. Lord, we pray that you give them healings, health, and your peace. Amen. And, Lord, we pray for our sister, Carmi Simeon, over there in... Uh, uh, Geneva, New York. We pray for our brother Rob King. Good morning, Rob. Lord, we pray for Rob King for his health. Keep him healthy, Lord, and right here with us. And, uh, Lord, we pray uh, for Rob's children and grandchildren that they come home in faith to you. We pray for uh, Tucker for his health. We pray that you bring Rob's uh, friend Mike back to good health. We also pray, Lord, for Rob's uh, sister, Dixie, that you help her with her struggles. And we pray, Lord, for uh, Judy, that she remains cancer-free. Amen. Thank you for healing her. Well, Lord, we pray for our brother and sister down there in Nashville, Tennessee, Earl and Vicki Winter. We pray for their health, and we pray for Vicki's parents, Martha and Jimmy. Also in Tupelo, Mississippi, Lord, we're praying for uh, Lindsay and Ray. Lindsay and Ray, Lord, down there in Tupelo. Keep them healthy and strong and brand new family. We pray for a strong marriage centered in you, Lord. Amen. Well, Lord, we also pray for uh, uh, Earl's friend, Bill, that you bring him back to good life, health, and uh, we pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for uh, Zach, and of course we're praying for Lindsay and Ray, and uh, for Donna and Alyssa Sides. We pray for uh, Albina, Tom, and Sonia, that you bring them back to good health, and we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. Well, Lord, our sister Barb Anderson is starting her, her immunotherapy this morning or today uh, she has that cancer and we pray dear Lord that all goes well we pray dear Lord that you heal her through that therapy amen to that oh Lord we also pray for Barb's son our priest Michael we pray for him Lord you healed him of cancer now we pray that he remains cancer free Lord we pray for Maria Merceri we pray for her and her health and her family we pray especially for her sister-in-law Adina, who suffers from cancer. We pray for Maria's mother, who has atrial fibrillation. We pray for uh, her sisters, who are their mother's caregiver. We pray that there's a little more peace and harmony at uh, Maria's workplace. We pray for that. We pray for Maria's husband, Savarillo, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. And uh, Lord, Gary Ballard. We pray for Gary, Lord. Um, we pray for his health and the health of his wife, Stefania. And... Uh, Gary has a doctor's appointment today, I think it is. Uh, and we're praying for a good result, a good report from his doctors today. We're praying for that. And, Lord, we pray for uh, Gary and Stefania's parents, Mary, Ellen, and Ellis, and we pray for their children. 
We pray for Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Reynard. We pray, Lord, for uh, their academic career and life pursuits. May they be successful. We also pray, Lord, for uh, Gary, that you give him the strength and focus he needs to complete his work assignments. And we pray for the health of Kevin McKirchin. Well, Lord, we pray for Anita Dalton and her husband, David. And uh, we pray for uh, Anita and David and their daughter, Sarah. We pray especially for Sarah, Lord, that you bring her home and, and heal her from that addiction. We pray for that. And, Lord, we also pray for uh, Anita's brother, Robert, who is uh, near death. He's in hospice. And, Lord, we pray we pray that he has a peaceful passing and that you have mercy on his soul. We pray for that. And, Lord, we thank you for healing uh, Anita's brother-in-law, Steve, from that stage 4 cancer. Thank you so much. Now we pray that he remains cancer-free. And Raymond Cannon asks to pray for his mother, Sherry, who has cancer. Lord, we pray for her and a friend, Althea, also suffering from cancer. And, uh, Lord, we pray for Struvula and Ilya Batskos over there in Melbourne, Australia. We pray for them and their family. We pray for Marie. We pray for Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. Uh, we pray for Stravula's uh, sister-in-law, uh, Valencia, uh, whose husband has fallen asleep. We pray that you have mercy uh, on him, uh, Uncle Demetrius. And we pray for Aaron, that you heal his heart, and that you make George cancer-free. We pray for Stravula's uh, granddaughter, Xenia, for her health. And we pray for Father Mark. We pray, dear Lord, that uh, he's going to need another back surgery, Lord, and we pray that all goes well there. Well, Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton down there in Ocala, Florida. We pray for her health and her special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and her family. We pray for Maria's uh, grand, our son-in-law, Robert, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Morris, for his health and special intentions. We pray for Peter's special intentions, Lord, and for his health. We pray for that. And we pray that you bring Marilyn back to good health. Lord, we pray for Joanne Taylor. She suffers from cancer. We pray for healing for her. We pray for our catechumens. Lord, we pray for uh, the catechumens at uh, Holy Spirit Parish in Venice, Florida. We pray for Larry, Anna, Lynn, and Tracy. We pray for them at uh, All Saints of America Parish in Homer, Alaska. We're praying for Ken and Nancy Klein at St. Sophia's in San Antonio. That's uh, Gary and Stefania's parish. We're praying for Obi. And, Lord, we're praying for the catechumens at uh, St. George's Parish in Fresno, California. We're praying for Shane, Cruz, James, Kenneth, Justin, Samuel, Ariel, and Jack, and Aaron. And uh, that's uh, Jonathan Nichols' parish, and he was not feeling well last night, and I haven't seen him this morning. So, Lord, we pray for Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan here. And no, Jonathan's not here. So, Lord, we pray for Jonathan that you uh, you bring him back to good health. We pray for him. Amen. Well, Lord, um, oh, Robin Armstrong at her parish. Uh, they have a new catechumen, Adrienne. Adrian, and we pray for her, Lord. We pray for her. And at uh, St. Nicholas Parish in Pinellas Park, Florida, we're praying for Patrick Barnes. Lord, let him, let these catechumens keep growing in faith in you. Also, at St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, we're praying for their catechumens and those at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. Lord, we're praying for the catechumens at uh, St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky. And they have quite the crop. And Lord, we pray for all these catechumens that they continue to grow in faith in you. We pray for that. Amen. And, Lord, we pray for our sister Tina Showalter at St. Michael's Parish in uh, Geneva, New York, my parish. We pray for her uh, ministry, for her health. And on the 21st of this month, Lord, her husband John is going to have some more surgery. And we pray that all goes well there. Well, Lord, we also pray for uh, Tom and uh, Kyleen uh, Abraham and their family and for their health and wellness. And we pray, Lord, especially... And we thank you for all that you've done for their granddaughter, Bren May. Lord, we pray for Joyce Marie and her husband, Tim, for their health. Joyce asks us to pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group. 
that you hear our prayers, Lord, and be glorified in them. Now, Lord, we also pray for Joyce's sister, Janet. We are healed of cancer. Now we pray that she remains cancer-free. And we pray for Joyce and Janet's mother, Granny Joyce. We pray for all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace, and that your will be done in each of their lives. And, Lord, we pray especially for Jolene and Jeremiah, that their households be, be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels. And we pray for, Lord, we pray, Lord, for uh, Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith. We pray that he remains cancer-free. Now, we also pray for Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continue to grow in faith in you. We pray for St. George's Parish in Springfield, Indiana. We have the Father Mark and uh, Mary Mary's Market and Joyce. We pray for that whole congregation, Lord. And we pray for uh, your blessings, Lord, on All Saints Parish in Chicago, together with Father Andrew, Father Patrick Reardon, and the whole congregation there. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister Joanne Manaski out there in Phoenix, Arizona. We pray for her, Lord. And we pray for a friend of hers, Claire, who suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray for Claire. We pray for Joanne's daughter, Erin, and her husband, Andrew. And we pray that you help them with their struggles. We pray for Joanne's son, Corey. And, Lord, we pray for her uh, brothers, uh, Stephen and Paul. We pray for their health, and we pray for healing for Joanne's great-niece, Madison. Now, Lord, we also pray for Father Ben Hadrick, um, who apparently had a stroke, Lord. We pray for a healing and full recovery for him. And Joanne asks to pray for Abby for healing from cancer. We pray for Abby, Lord. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister, Amy Green, who's suffering greatly, Lord, from cancer. And, uh, Lord, we pray that you alleviate her pain and suffering and bring a healing to our sister, Amy. We need her right here, Lord, for your work. We need her. So, Lord, we pray for Amy. We pray for her husband, Eric. And uh, we pray for uh, Amy and Eric's health, faith, Eric's business. And we pray that Amy can get back to her students. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we also pray for their daughters, Sarah, Natalie, and future son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for Amy's mother, Lois, for her physical, emotional, and spiritual health. We pray for Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace, for their health. We pray for Amy's brother, Rick, and his crew, first responders. Keep them safe, Lord. Keep them safe. We also pray for that little family, Tabitha, Austin, and Naomi. We also pray, Lord, for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean for health and endurance. We pray for Christine and Teresa that you relieve them uh, from those uh, uh, migraine headaches. Alleviate their pain, Lord. Make those headaches go away. We pray for that. We pray for that. And, Lord, uh, we pray for uh, mother and son, Lauren and Ryder, for a healthy home life. We pray for little Levi had cancer you healed him lord now we pray that he remains cancer free and lord we pray for his parents dustin and jessica we pray for bell andre and their families for healing and strength as well and we pray for pam jay and christina for healing and we pray for rose marie and Imogene. keep them healthy and safe they're in the nursing home lord we pray for debbie owens our sister over there in lyons new york we pray that life is a little less complicated for her we pray for that we pray for success for her uh, private practice. We pray for her father's health. Lord, we pray for her husband, Matthew, who's with us this morning. Thank you, Lord. We pray for Matthew, Lord, that all goes well with his job interview today. We pray for that. Now we pray for uh, uh, Debbie and, and Matt's children. We pray for Clara, Amaya, Gio, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray, dear Lord, that they come closer in faith to you and that they make good decisions in their lives. And Lord, we pray especially for Gio, that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him, guide him in his life, and even inspire him. We pray for that. Amen. And Lord, oh, Debbie also asked to pray for her friend Yelena Morris and her daughter uh, Masha for health and healings. We pray for Patty. And Lord, we pray for Lori, who has cancer. We pray for Lori. And Lord, we pray for Tess Plummer, She's looking for work. A friend of Debbie's, Lord, we pray that she finds uh, fruitful employment soon. Now let's see if, Jonathan, or if Joseph is with us. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. No, I guess not. So 
So, Lord, we pray for our brother Joseph Khalil. We pray for his health that you protect him and keep him right here with us. We pray for his ministries, Lord. And we pray, dear Lord, for his ministries. We pray that they are continue to be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those uh, that are touched by his ministries. We pray for his sons, Toby and Luke, that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them in their lives. And we pray for Luke, that you protect him from all infections. We pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. And uh, Lord, we pray for... Uh, uh, Joseph's mother, Odette. We pray for Odette, Lord, for her healing from cancer. We pray for Joseph's wife, Renea, for her health and healings. Amen. And, oh, Lord, we pray for Robin and Pippin. Yeah, keep them healthy and safe. Now, Robin's going to be traveling this weekend, Lord, so we pray for safe travels for her and a fruitful reunion with her family. We pray for that. And, Lord, we also pray for uh, Robin's uh, father robert who has passed away his funeral is this weekend lord and uh, we pray that you have mercy on his soul we also pray for robin's mother carolyn for her health we pray for uh, a healing and uh, good health for michelle and things have been gotten gotten a little bit better there lord we thank you for that we pray for the health and healings for michelle or for malia and her mother Lori. We pray for Francis and Gary for their health as well. Now, Lord, we pray for our brother Jonathan Nichols. And uh, he's not been feeling well. He's not with us this morning, Lord. We pray for his health and bring him back to good health. And, Lord, we pray. And uh, Amber. Um, Amber has asked us to pray for uh, Jonathan that for circulation in his right leg. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. And meanwhile, Lord, we, pr we thank you for healing Jonathan from that uh, liver cancer. And we pray that he remains cancer-free and you return him to good health. Now we also pray, Lord, for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff and Christina, Daniel and Amy, Pastor Del Foote and his wife, Barbara. We pray for their health, Lord, and well-being. Amen. Well, Lord, our, our brother, Jeff, Stefan Bennett, asked to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide. So, Lord, I pray for Father Gregory at St. Michael's, my parish. We pray for his ministry there. We pray for the ministry of uh, Father Constantinos at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage Mission in Kenya. We pray for him and his ministry. We pray for Father Antipas. Good morning, Father. Well, Lord, we pray for Father Antipas and his ministry in uh, Nairobi. We pray for uh, Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi as well. Lord, we pray for Father Demetrius Leosis at uh, St. Uh, Basil's in Ocala, Florida. And uh, that's, uh, oh my, oh, Maria Fenton's parish, Lord. Maria Fenton, I'm getting a brain block there, Lord. Forgive me. Well, Lord, we also pray for uh, Amy Green, asked to pray for Father George's, uh, Father Joseph at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg, Virginia. And we pray for Stalio's two priests, Father Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for Christina Hunter's priest, Father Simon. We pray for uh, Kathleen Purdy's son, ja Father James Purdy, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Michael and Joyce E. Rager's priest, Father Daniel Hackney at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville. And Lord, we pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Suriel, and for her uh, godson, Father Nick, as well. We pray for Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragon Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short. We pray for Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's near uh, near Houston, Lord. And, Lord, we pray for uh, Alione's priests at uh, St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky. We pray for Fathers Ephraim and uh, Lucas and George and Seraphim. And I think it's Father Seraphim got his own parish now up there in oh, Iowa or Ohio. We pray for him as well. We pray for uh, Gary Ballard's priest, Father Thomas Newland at uh, St. Sophia's in uh, San Antonio. Amy Green asked to pray for Father Jeremy and Father Sam. And uh, Lord, we pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. Raymond Cannon asked to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. Lord, we pray for uh, Robin Armstrong's priest, Father John Parcells at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. Well, Lord, we pray for all these priests. We pray for their ministries. We pray for their health, and we pray for their families as well. 
And Lord, we pray for Mother Elizabeth. We pray for her health, her ministry, and her family as well. We pray for our bishops, Bishop Sava, Daniel, uh, Benjamin, Nicholas, Alexander, and Bishop Peter, Lord, who suffers from throat cancer. And Lord, we pray for a healing for uh, Bishop Peter. So, Lord, we pray for all of these bishops. And I can't forget Metropolitan Saba. We pray for all of these bishops, Lord, for their ministries, for their health, and uh, for their families, especially, Father, our Bishop Peter, Lord, that you heal him of that cancer. Amen. Now it's time to go around and see if there's any. Oh, there's Joseph. There's Joseph Khalil. Good morning, Joseph. And he has a reading from... Uh, Romans chapter 10. Their sound has gone out to all the earth and their words to the end of the world. Ends of the world. Amen. Thank you, Joseph. I was worried you weren't going to make it this morning. Glad to see you. Now let's see if there's any other prayer requests. Let me see. You. And Amber Tremaine Elioni, continuing prayers for your husband. He had that ankle surgery, remember? Amen. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Uh, Michael Rager has been promoted. He's got, as he calls it, I got the boss position in the shop working at Semi and Trailer, so... I'm always at work due to this new responsibility. Oh, Lord, we pray for uh, Michael and we pray for his new, he's successful in his new job position. We pray for that. Amen. And over here, let's see if there's any prayer requests over here. We'll just go up here a little ways. Oh, somebody's getting an extraction, I think. Oh, Anna Gennaro. Good morning, everyone. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Awake early this morning at 530 because it's so light outside. Please, may I ask for prayers for me as I am a little nervous about my wisdom tooth extraction this afternoon. They, well, Lord, we pray for our sister Anna. We pray that that extraction goes well. I know those wisdom teeth can be a bear. So, Lord, we pray that uh, you see her through it and the and the uh, dentist or the oral surgeon, Lord, help them. And we pray that this, you keep that pain level down. I know this is going to be painful, Lord, but keep that pain level down. We pray for that. Bring our sister through it with no complications. Amen. And let me see here. Hey, there's Yelena Morris. Good morning, and have a great day praying for you. And there's Lynette. Good morning to you, Lynette. Praying for you and your mom. Yeah. Okay, let's go the other direction now. Alrighty, so Lord, we ask that you remember and have mercy on all of those that we have prayed for this morning. We pray that, dear Lord, that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Lord, we ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And we pray, dear Lord, that your mother, the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, today we remember... Uh, the Archangel Gabriel, and we pray that he remembers us and our prayer intentions, and it protects us today. Lord, we pray for that. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, we ask that you visit and heal all those that we have prayed for this morning, and perhaps and those that we perhaps have omitted. So, Lord, we pray that you visit and heal them all. We pray, dear Lord, that you release them from pain and restore them to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name 
of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you all again this evening. Hopefully, Jonathan is well enough to join us. I know he's pretty sick yesterday. So uh, we, pray for, we pray for our brother Jonathan. So we'll be here at 9 p.m. tonight for the Gospel Minute Live, and then Robin will be back with us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for morning prayers. So until then, as she reminded us, as Robin reminded us, there's two things you got to remember. God loves us. He does. And we love one another. And we do. So, until tonight, may God bless us all. Let's have a great day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.